This video shows the calculation settings. Go to calculation settings. You see that there are two parts, the model settings and the method settings. In the model settings you can select the way iNoise will store the results for receivers and for grids and contour points separately. For receivers you can choose between total results, group results and source results. Source results is the most detailed level. If you click on only total results, it means that you cannot show the results per group. So be aware of that. Usually you will select source results for receivers. For grids, similar, you can select either total results or group results. You cannot select source results. So you cannot uh, show the noise contours for one source. Or you should put that source in a group and make the group only one source big. Um, then, in the model settings, you can define your default terrain model, meaning this is the height outside your entered height lines and height points, and if you do not enter any height lines or height points, then your whole model will be at zero meters height, or at the height you key in here. Then, for your uh, uh, horizontal grids and for your contour points, this is the location where you define the height, because in the grid itself, if you double click on the grid, uh, oops, you have noticed that you cannot change the height of the grid, of the horizontal grid. This is 4 meters, and this 4 meter you can change in the calculation settings here. Because all grids and all contour points that you enter in your model will then have the same height, and they will all be used to create your interpolated noise contours at 4 meters height. Then, the method there are several uh, uh, calculation settings. Fetching radius and dynamic error uh, margin are used to speed up your calculation. Terrain model. You can either use your full digital terrain model for a barrier effect or only use the height lines for the barrier effect. Um, use full D DTM is now recommended so that also height points will uh, be used to triangulate of course your terrain level and all your triangles will be used uh, for barrier effect. For the ground attenuation, according to the ISO uh, 9613, there are two methods, the general method and the alternative method. In the general method, you have to select the ground factor factor outside your entered ground regions. Then for the barrier attenuation, normally the ISO 9613 has a maximum barrier attenuation for 20 dB for uh, uh, single screening and 25 dB for a double uh, multiple screening but you can also deselect this one and you can enter your own maximum screening effect. This setting might be of interest if you also calculate the transmission through barriers. Then you might want to increase your maximum barrier effect. Uh, but the default setting is this one. Then there is another setting, no barrier effect for direct sight. Um, if this one is, uh, is entered, then if there is a direct sight, if your direct line between source and receiver is not, uh, um, is not how do you call it, shielded off by a barrier or a building, then INERS will not calculate the barrier effect. This is a little bit outside the ISO 9613 because the ISO 9613 says that you can also have a negative detour. So be aware of this setting. Then meteorological correction. Normally you will have no meteorological correction, meaning you calculate a moderate downwind situation, but you can also calculate a long-term average using a C0 factor, either single or per period, or a C0 based on wind statistics or a concava per period. The concava per period is used in some countries around, around the world and here you can select your uh, uh, default stability class for the day, evening and night, your uh, dominant wind direction and wind speed and what's good to realize if you uh, key in your wind direction of minus one then INOS will calculate downwind in all direction and this is a kind of a worst case scenario. So that is um, good to realize. Um, then your air absorption in temperature in degree Kelvin, uh, pressure and 
humidity settings. Those are the default settings. And these conclude the method calculation settings. When you start a calculation, start, you can select to calculate all calculation points, but you could also decide only the grids, or only the receivers, or only the vertical grids, or only the contour points. In most cases you will simply select all calculation points. And then when you do the start calculation, you see the calculation progress, and because this model was already calculated, uh, it goes quite quickly. But if you change something, for instance the height of this building, 25 meters, you will notice that eye noise also removes the contours. So you really need to restart your calculation in this case, and then you will see your calculation progress. And this is a small model, so this does not take a long time. Okay, and now you can show your contours again. So this concludes the calculations. And by using calculations, test calculation, you can see all the attenuation uh, terms that INOS calculates, like screening attenuation, uh, ground attenuation per octave. For instance, I want to see the cross section between point 1 and lorry 2. So I select point 1, receiver 1, oops, and lorry number 2. I want to see exactly uh, if there's a screening effect, because if you draw a line from lorry 2 to receiver P1, you see that this building is in between. So I want to know what is the screening effect of this building. So I select them in the test calculation option, say calculate, then you need to select the level of detail, normal detailed cross sections, and you can also select to save the transmission path to a shapefile, which you can then be uh, uh, see as a background map. I will show that later on. So I select on proceed, and here I see the test calculation results. An overview of your calculation settings, and then the cross section from receiver P1 to source lorry 2. The cross-section starts at receiver P1 at 0 meter, then there's a building at 148 meters, another building at 162 meters, that's the other side of that building, that's in between, and then the point source lorry 2 at 183 meters. So here already you see a cross-section. Then you see the calculated attenuations per octave. It starts with the sound power level per octave, and then the ground effect for the receiver region, the middle region, and the source region per octave. Uh, receiver and source are minus one and a half for all octaves, because the model is fully reflective. That's why it's minus one and a half, and there's a small middle region which gives uh, minus one, uh, 0 0.06. Then the screening, there's a vertical screening, there's a left detour, and there's no right detour, according to the settings of the uh, ISO 9613 including the quality assurance method, of course. Then the barrier effect, a vertical barrier effect, a left barrier effect, and then the total barrier effect per octave, etc. Then you also see the other attenuation terms, vegetation attenuation, site, building, air absorption, geometrical spreading, meteorological correction. In total, this gives you uh, the calculated sound pressure level. You start with the sound power level, minus all the attenuations, and you get a sound pressure level. This is your direct contribution. Then there's a reflection in the facade history, with also a cross section, and there's another reflection in the facade storage, with another, and that makes up your total level uh, in the day period for lorry number two. Then also the transmission is stored in the shape file uh, at first at the temp temporary folder, but you can, with this folder icon, you can then store it, um, for instance, on your desktop uh, as temp number 3, let's say, because I've done it several times, temp number 3. So I store it now in my desktop, on my desktop. I close down this dialog, and now, with my view background maps, I can add 
this temp3 as a background map. And now I see exactly the path. So I see a direct path from lorry 2 over this building to point 1 and also a right detour, no left detour, then a reflection in this facade and a reflection in this facade. So here you also see your uh, uh, your transmission path, which might also be of interest. Thank you for your attention.